Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick update on my experience with the Sabrent Rocket Pro 4TB NVMe external SSD. So for those of you that missed my unboxing, this retails for roughly anywhere between 900 and 1000 US, and it's pretty much a video editor's dream, or anyone looking for mass storage at, right now, the fastest, almost fastest possible speed available. Sabrent does have an extreme version of this that is beyond a gigabyte a second, which is just bonkers, but this one gets very close, and I wanted to show that in real-world use. You can already see I've put a decent amount of uh, storage onto this drive already, uh, 2.88 terabytes free of the 3.72 um, of the four terabyte drive. So let's go ahead and just do a drag and drop of some raw content that I have here. Uh, these are all files for the channel, 4K video straight out of camera, and let's just see how the rocket handles this, all right? So we've got our dialogue here, starting at 1.8 gigs, but we know it's gonna drop down. It's hovering around 800 megabytes a second now. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that in tight. This is 100 gig transfer, so let's go ahead and get that right in there so you can clearly see that speed. That's what I'm going for here. And you should be able to see it going in real tight now. Um, it's just, it's fast. I mean, we're talking about lightning fast. Yes, the extreme is faster. Uh, but this is the pro version for a reason. And when you see this sort of speed that I'm transferring over 100 gigs in less than two minutes, and it's still it's staying solid at between seven and 900 megs a second. I mean, that is incredibly impressive. Uh, and that's been my experience with this drive so far. Uh, and that's why I wanted to share it with all of you because a lot of people have concerns about how hot the drive is going to get or you know, once it gets to a certain capacity, will the performance drop off? And you know, all I can say is that so far, everything I've done with this drive, around 800 is my average uh, on the right side. So that to me is just phenomenal. I mean, but that's the sort of performance you do expect from a drive like this. Now we're back pushing towards 900. You can see the average range is going to vary, but it's going to be anywhere between seven and a little over 900 megabytes a second, which is just, I mean, we're, we're nearly there on one gigabyte uh, transfer speeds, which is, again, just crazy for external storage. And yes, the extreme drive that I have right here um, does outperform it, this one coming into frame, uh, but the extreme isn't what everyone necessarily needs. You know, uh, the extreme, I think, here we are just about finished already. Uh, again, hovering between that seven and 900. I've got some repeat files, we'll skip those. Uh, but done, uh, and I mean, this just tells you what you need to know about how fast this drive really is. So again, you know, remember, the Pro is one step beneath the extreme drive, and the extreme drive is, you know, it's not that much more expensive. I think the extreme uh, that I have here, this is only a one terabyte capacity, but I think the extreme uh, retails, I think this one's about three or 400 US. But if you were to get it in the four terabyte flavor, you'd be looking at, I think, two or $300 more than the Pro. Now this did get hot, uh, but you know, not hot enough that I have to worry about touching it. It's still, it's just warm but that gave you an idea of over 100 gigs being transferred in under two minutes. I mean, that is crazy, crazy fast. And to give you a point of comparison, if we go back to older storage, and yes, SanDisk has refreshed uh, these little uh, extreme drives. This is a two terabyte. You're not gonna see anything over 550 on here. So this is not twice the performance, but nearly twice the performance, and then of course, twice the actual storage because two terabytes versus four. And as much as I like, you know, SanDisk's little rubberized, you know, um, kit there, this is a much more substantial piece of hardware. So wanted to share this with all of you. Um, it's not a crystal disc benchmark. This is a real world test. 
This guy, on the other hand, as I mentioned, it's going to take us up to 1.2, 1.3, even 1.4 gigabytes a second, um, which is just, it's friggin' nuts. I mean, it's crazy, but that's the difference between the extreme and the pro. The pro, I think, is still amazing, and you know, you don't really need the extreme performance. I am hoping uh, that Saverin's gonna send over uh, the four terabytes so I can do a side-by-side -side comparison with this, but this is the future of storage right here, folks. I mean, the ability to transfer mass amounts, terabytes in minutes, it's a lot closer than you think, and gotta love that. Even if it's really expensive now, Rest assured, with time, prices will drop as availability, you know, improves. And of course, the pandemic's not helping. Uh, and certainly the, the demand is there. I mean, I've been waiting for mass storage NVMe external drives like this for a long time. I know many of you out there have as well. Again, photo, video editors alike. This is just a dream drive. And of course, the extreme would just be the next level. So hopefully I'll get one of those into the studio to share with all of you. But again, just wanted to show a quick test of how quickly we can write. Again, I'll give you exactly how much, oh, could have had it right there, of course. Um, just to tell you exactly, we were, it was 110 gigs. Uh, that's pretty fast, pretty, pretty fast. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Stay safe. Later.